Hi, YouTubers. Something important, so anyway, I'm the garage again at my parents' house. Guess what I'll be doing? Smoking nice, big-ass cigars, the big-ass cigar for life. The house of keeping, smoking this Grand Habano cigar, lunch break cigar, nice, big-ass cigars, the big-ass cigar for life. Anyway, that's the house of keeping. I'm not drinking anything right now, so anyway, uh, let's get let's get this bad boy fired up. So, uh, whoo! Yeah, cigars always make you t your mouth tingle when you first light them. Uh, whoo! Holy crap! Uh, yeah, spit. Sorry, I'm just drooling a little bit. I just had dinner, my mouth is salivating a little bit. Sorry about that. Whew. Yeah, some people don't like to swallow the juice when they uh, salivate with a cigar, but I kind of just want to swallow whatever. Yeah, spit or swallow, <laughs> didn't sound right. <laughs> so he's being silly ass like the big ass cigar. Anyway, one more light to do it. One sec. Okay. <clears throat> anyway, that's a nice big ass cigar. One sec, YouTubers. Sorry, YouTube, this is my, my mother. So uh, my mother was just coming home from a walk. So if you're wondering who the hell that was, it was just my mother coming home from a walk. So uh, anyway, the housekeeping. So I want to give a recap of my week at uh, Roach Brothers and also my week at the apartment. I'm just leaning back because the car's in the garage. So if you're wondering, smoking ass, like why the hell are you leaning back? That's why. So uh, anyway, the, the car's in the garage. So I had a good week overall. Uh, let's start with uh, Sunday. So Sunday, I worked a different shift at the grocery store, you know, Roche Brothers. I worked um, from nine o'clock to three o'clock because of Super Bowl Sunday, this past Sunday. I do apologize. I, the reason I'm a little bit of reflux is because, because I had dinner. So if you're wondering, no, I don't have throat cancer or esophageal cancer. It's because I just had dinner. I ate a little bit too fast and I have, I have to burp a little bit. So I'm a, I'm a piggy, a nice big ass piggy, like a big ass cigar. Anyway, I don't have like anything wrong with me. So so. Yeah, I had to work uh, 9 to 3 on Sunday, which is kind of an unusual shift. I haven't done that shift for a long time, probably a couple of years, because of Super Bowl Sunday. So I was doing the carts on Sunday, nice big-ass carts like the big-ass cigar. And uh, yeah, they were very busy on Super Bowl, Super Bowl Sunday. And um, I it was actually snowing all day. Um, yeah, it was snowing all day on Super Bowl Sunday, which was kind of, uh, unusual. You know, we were supposed to get, it was, it was kind of funny, kind of funny ass, like the big ass cigar. We were supposed to get like, um, I don't know, like, um, they were saying like a coating to an inch of snow here in Massachusetts. Be so damn cold here, damn hot here, damn, damn, damn. Yeah, we were supposed to get like a coating to an inch and we ended up getting nine and a half inches inches of snow it's like holy shit it's like you know what we had no idea in hell that we were gonna get that much snow we're like holy crap it's like you know what they were saying on thursday friday and saturday you know they measured news stations here in massachusetts it'd be so damn cold here damn hot here damn 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 they were saying like a coating of snow to an inch of snow and then the cape and islands are supposed to get like an inch to three inches of snow and we ended up getting nine and a half inches, which is like more than three, more than three quarters of a foot. Like, holy crap. It's like, you know, we had no idea in hell. It wasn't very heavy snow. 
it wasn't like a, co a couple weeks ago, like um, but back in, uh, I think it was, uh, Jan it was January 30th, yeah, January 29th, January 30th, we got like, um, oh, wait, we got, we got like probably two feet of snow. It wasn't like that heavy of a, sto a snowstorm, but it was still a big snowstorm, nice big ass snowstorm, like the big ass cigar, just being silly ass, like the big ass cigar. And uh, yeah, we got a big, uh, you know, nine and a half inches of snow. That's another like, you know, more than three quarters of a foot of snow. Um, yeah, so anyway, uh, that's that. So I was working uh, for six hours in the snow, uh, pushing the carts, nice big ass carts like the big ass cigar, just being silly ass like the big ass cigar. And uh, yeah, so um, we were expecting, I mean, when I woke up in the morning at 7.30 to go to work, because I was staying in my parents' house, and um, you know, we were expecting like a little bit of like a dusting of snow. Yeah, like somebody sprinkled a little bit of like, you know, sugar or salt, you know, like a dusting, not literally, but you get the freaking point. So uh, like, you know, you get the uh, in the analogy, it's like a dusting of like a coating. Uh, and we were, we got so much fucking snow for a better word, I mean. And uh, yeah. Um, and uh, yeah. So I worked, uh, you know, nine to three doing the uh, carts. And then um, I got obviously a half hour break, a unpaid half hour break, because obviously we, we take a half hour break, which is called a meal break. You don't get, pre you don't get, you don't get paid. So it, you have to punch in, punch out. You don't get paid for a half hour break. And Roche Brothers does not do like hour long breaks. They do 15s, which are called rest breaks. And they do uh, half hour breaks, which are called meal breaks. So they don't do like 45 minute breaks, half hour, you know, 60 minute breaks. They do um, 15 and half, which is typical of like retail. So it's like typical ass of retail, uh, which is not bad. I'm not, I'm not saying anything bad about it. It's just, you know, that's just the way the retail operates. It's different in like an office, you know, if you're working like in a freaking office, you know, like a typical, you know, typical ass, you know, nine to five office job. That's different because most office jobs offer what's called a lunch break, which is basically from usually like 12 o'clock to like one o'clock. It's like an hour long lunch. When I used to work in a law office uh, close to where I live, I'm not gonna say where I live, uh, but it was close to where I live. Um, they offered a 60 minute, a 60 minute, um, like hour long lunch break. But, um, the, um, excuse me, the, the, um, you know, Roche Brothers offers a 15 or a half. So, so how it kind of works, if you're wondering, is I'm not going to get too much into it because I want to talk about other stuff. Uh, basically, you work five hours, you get a 15. You work six hours, you get a 15 or a half. You work seven hours, you get a 15 and a half. You work eight and a half hours or more, you get two 15s and a half. So that's kind of how it works. So that's kind of how it should work. So anyway. And then uh, I spent Sunday night into Monday at my parents' house. Uh, we had uh, pizza for Super Bowl Sunday. Nice, big-ass pizza, like the big-ass cigar. And, uh, yeah, we got Bertucci's, which is a pizza place. Uh, you know, there's a lot of Bertucci's near me, or there's some Bertucci's near me. It's like a, a, a big pizza chain. And, uh, yeah, so we got... Um, uh, pizza. I got. I had gluten free. They. It's uh, called gluten sensitive. Air quote gluten sensitive. Damn. Talking too much. Cigars going out. Damn it. So. Um. Yeah. So it's called uh, gluten sensitive uh, cauliflower cauliflower crust pizza. So basically. It's a cauliflower crust pizza, and it and I got a cheese and sausage. So cheese and sausage. My friend calls it sausages. So that was um, my uh, Super Bowl Sunday uh, meal. Now, obviously, they say gluten sensitive because. Uh, you know, the Bertucci's, you know, obviously, they prepare regular pizza, you know, regular fucking pizza, and, like, the entire environment is flour. So, uh, obviously, there's no way in hell they can guarantee to be gluten-free. 
it's meant to be gluten friendly or gluten sensitive. It's like, you know, it's not made with gluten, but there's no way in hell they could guarantee to be gluten free because that entire kitchen, when you walk in, flour everywhere, flour there, flour there, flour there. And, um, mm, sorry, I have a little something in my mouth. Um, didn't sound right. Um, car going by. I think the cigar has a knot in it. I'm feeling kind of a knot. So, uh, yeah. Um, so yeah, obviously there's no way in hell it could guarantee it to be gluten free. So, uh, it's meant to be gluten sensitive. And for the majority of people who <clears throat> are celiac, that matters to them. That there is flour and cross contamination. But to me personally, it doesn't matter to me. I don't really give a shit, you know, I don't really give a crap. So, uh, anyway, um, so yeah, ooh. Tasting a little bit of tar. Ew, nasty. Yeah, this has a knot in it. Ugh, not good. Ugh, if you can see that, there's a little bit of tar coming out of the end. Tasting a little bit of tar on my lips. Yeah, I wonder if this will be even be smokable. This might be kind of a dud, so. Once in a while, you get a cigar that's a dud, so. Yeah, there's a little bit of tar coming out of the end, so because I'm trying, I'm just trying to suck so hard through it. Didn't sound right. I'm trying to, you know, draw through the cigar so hard, and uh, it's producing a little bit of tar bubbles. So it's not terrible right now, but um, if this gets much worse, I'm gonna probably have to chuck the cigar. So and people are like, oh, don't chuck the cigar. You're wasting five bucks. Dude, it's five bucks. It's like, you know, it's not like a, a $40 cigar. It's not like a Padron, you know, 80th anniversary, you know, freaking cigar. It's like, you know, it's five bucks. I'm not going to smoke a tarry, bubbly, nasty, you know, fucking nasty cigar. It's like, you know, no way in hell. It's like, you know. Uh... Yeah, this definitely has a knot. One sec. Car going by. Uh, yeah, this definitely has a knot. So, uh, anyway, back to the video topic. So, uh, that was my, uh, Super Bowl Sunday, and I kind of just watched the game, uh, the, uh, Rams versus the, uh, the Bengals, and then, uh, Sunday, uh, Monday, sorry, Monday morning, um, my dad dropped me at, uh, work. You know, he dropped me at work, um, because I spent Sunday night to Monday, uh, at my parents, and, and then he dropped me at work on uh, first thing on Monday. And then, um, let's see. Uh, so he dropped me at work first thing on Monday. Then I worked 9 to 1. Uh, and then I worked 9 to 1 on Tuesday, 9 to 1 on Wednesday. And um, then Thursday, I had the day to myself. And then Friday, I had the morning to myself. And I saw my counselor, a nice big-ass counselor, like the big-ass cigar. And um, today, I went out to a restaurant uh, we went out to uh, Moe's, which is a kind of a, kind of like, it's like a, ni a nicer Taco Bell, kind of like a cross between a Chipotle and a Taco Bell. Uh, it's kind of more like set up like a Chipotle. I think most people know what Moe's is, Moe's uh, Southwest Grill. It's kind of like a, it's more fancier than like a Taco Bell, but it's uh, less, it's probably the food is, in my opinion, my personal opinion, like my asshole, uh, it's less like, I wouldn't say fresh tasting, but it's a lot more, like, processed tasting than, like, I'm not trying to, like, dox the brand, whatever, you know, but it's a little bit more, like, processed tasting than, like, for example, like, uh, Chipotle. Chipotle, the food is very fresh tasting, very, very, like, you know, super, super, like, you know, really almost like a sit-down, like, Mexican restaurant. Like, uh, <clears throat> there's, like, if you were going to, like, a th authentic, you know, sit-down Mexican restaurant with a full liquor license, uh, you know, they have margaritas, you know, fucking margaritas, you know, they have, uh, you know, um, a full bar, you know, they have, uh, you know, traditional tortilla chips, you know, a sit-down restaurant, uh, You know, that's what um, the food at Chipotle tastes like. It's like the food you get at like a sit-down restaurant. Like a, a place like, I don't know, there's there's a lot of places. Uh, they're kind of like, you know, sit-down restaurants. They're like sit-down. There's a place in Massachusetts, you know, Massachusetts. Uh, that's uh, called Acapulco's, which is in a few towns. Or, uh, kind Not really near me, but um, uh, there's a, I'm going to be a little bit careful here. But it's like, you know, 
there used to be a Acapulco's. It's like it's, it's like a sit down. You know what I'm talking about. It's like a sit down place. You know, you sit down for 45 minutes to an hour. You have a drink or two. If you're over 21, you you know you get served. It's like an actual formal dining restaurant, not like a fast food place. Not that kind of crap, you know. And um, Chipotle. That's what the Chipotle food tastes like. Even though Chipotle is more of like a like an in and out, you know, fast food place. It tastes very fresh, very well prepared. I'm not saying most taste bad. I'm not trying to like dox the brand, whatever, you know, or like, you know, diss the brand, whatever. But Moe's, it's much, the, the food at Moe's kind of uh, is more like what you would call like fast food tasting. It's kind of hard to describe until, until you've had it, you know. Um, it's more like fast food tasting. It's more like, you know, what you would expect from a place like, it's, it's better than like Taco Bell. I mean, Taco Bell, is not bad food, but it's definitely very processed tasting, very processed, very like reconstituted tasting. You know, you can tell it's been very, very, very heavily processed. And Taco Bell is by no means a stretch of the imagination, uh, authentic, you know, like sit down Mexican restaurant. It's nowhere close. I'm not trying to like dox Taco Bell, whatever. It's like, you know, but car going by. Yeah, but Taco Bell is nowhere close to like a sit down, like Mex like obviously no Taco Bell, to my knowledge, has a liquor license. Uh, no Taco Bell even serves like margaritas, like you get like Pepsi or like, you know, Mountain Dew. It's like in a lot of Taco Bells are in the same building as KFCs, you know, with Kentucky Fried Chicken, you know. It's like, you know, until you've had like authentic, like, you know, Mexican food, you know what authentic, you know, Mexican, you know, um, like guacamole or sour cream or shredded cheese or salsa or tortilla chips. That's what you get at like Chipotle, for example. And Chipotle is a very, very like, it, the food is very high quality. It's very high quality. Moe's is nice also. I mean, it also Moe's, one thing about Moe's, at least around me, is it's a lot cheaper. It's a hell of a lot cheaper than like uh, Chipotle. I mean, Chipotle, you'll, I mean, for, I mean, for like two or three people with like meals for everybody, you're talking 30 or 40 bucks. I mean, you're talking a hell of a lot of money. <clears throat> but with, um, you know, Ch Moe's, you can buy a, a, a full meal for like, 12 bucks it's like you know and obviously when you go to like a fast food you know fast food place like an in and out place you're obviously not tipping generally because obviously you don't tip like fucking mcdonald's you know you know i mean you can you can tip if you want to you can leave like you know a 50 cent tip or a hundred not a hundred dollar not a hundred dollar tip <laughs> just being silly ass like a big ass cigar that'd be really nice of you but you can leave oh car gone by You can leave like a dollar tip, you know, like McDonald's has like their, you know, their, their thing for, you know, um, the, um, you know, the Ronald McDonald house. You can, you, you can, you know, you can leave like a dollar or two. So not a hundred dollars. I mean, it's like, obviously when you go to most fast food places like Burger King or like McDonald's or like Wendy's or KFC or Taco Bell, you're not tipping. It's like, you know, you're not, you don't get a receipt. Oh, sorry. I'm sorry. Car going by again. You don't get like a receipt and you don't like take a pen and, you know, say, okay, the meal was $20. So I'm going to tip them, you know, $2. It's like, you know, or, or like $4, whatever. It's like, you don't do like a 20% tip. It's like, I mean, Chipotle, it's like, but you get what I'm saying. The Chipotle is a lot more like authentic Mexican tasting. It's that, that traditional, uh, what you'd be used to, like a sit-down Mexican restaurant. And in a sit-down Mexican restaurant, like Acapulco's, which is one, um, you know, kind of like maybe, you know, kind of near me, not really near me. i um, going to be a little bit careful here. It's like, you know, obviously in a sit-down place where you're having drinks, you're having alcoholic beverages, you know, um, obviously in a sit-down place, you would obviously tip. You would obviously fucking tip. It's like, you know, you would, uh, uh, you know, you would tip them you know, for, you know, about 20% for uh, dinner time, and you would tip them 15%, 15%, not 50%, 15% for lunch time. So, and it would depend if you had drinks or not. So anyway, that's all I wanted to say. Anyway, I'm, I'm about to end this video. This cigar is all tarry. It's all nasty. I'm going to throw it away. So yeah, this is crap. Yeah. So anyway, 
Uh, thank you for watching my little rant here. Uh, I didn't mean to like uh, come off as a dick or anything. Uh, I didn't want to like dox Taco Bell or dox, you know, Chipotle or dox Moe's uh, or dox any restaurants or be rude to any restaurants or kind of like a, sound like a dick, whatever. But I mean, I just wanted to explain uh, kind of the difference between a place like Moe's, a place like Chipotle, a place like a sit down Mexican restaurant. Anyway, pretty fucking cool. Bye.